Hey Vanner Fanner family, it's time for another Veda video. But before we get into this Veda video at the pick and pull, don't forget to help out your favorite YouTubers by subscribing, liking, sharing their videos, and commenting. Also check and see if they have a Patreon or a join button where you can partner with them financially to help them grow their channel and produce better content. So I'm at the pick and pull looking for finally, hopefully, a cable that will allow me to open my side cargo door the right way or barn doors, whatever you call them. So I think we might have found something. We will see. There are several E-150s here. Mostly all the um, cargo type bands, but the handle latches and the cables inside are the same, which is what I need the cable. So let's see what we can see. So this is what I need for my side barn door. Because on mine, Three of my doors actually, one back door and the two sides, this piece is broken off. That little plastic piece is completely off. And I recently broke one on the side. I did have one functioning side door, but I recently broke it. So yeah, I'm gonna try and find one in good shape or a few get them back and uh, test them out Yep, good shape. Yes! Sweet! So we got the upper cable. Well, I did, my friend did. And we're working on the lower. What do you say? I said this one is cracked. So, oh, that one's cracked. Like the other ones. Right. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So we're just pulling a bunch of decent looking cables off of as many bands as we can find in the hopes that uh, they'll work when we get back to uh, my van. They should. Pulling longs and shorts because I need both. The main door I want to open is my um, side cargo doors, or barn doors rather. I guess they're called both. Because that one hasn't opened since day one, and it's annoying to open the front passenger door, reach into the van, and pull the cable that's sticking out of the door in order to open the side door. I want to be able to use my key and the handle on the outside to open it. So hopefully we have accomplished that. Mr. R is taking all the cables off. But yeah, we found one really good one in this door. Both of its cables are really good. So we're hoping to take both of those cables. Okay, so another little project is to put a fan in my back window. And we found this fan and it works. We tested it, um, spliced some wires and used the Craftsman drill battery to test. And it works, it actually works both ways. So I can pull air out of the van or push air in to the van and it'll be in my back window, which pops open. So I can pop that back window open and have this fan work to either push air on me or pull air out when it's too hot. 
All right, I think this is our last thing. I'm gonna remove this battery tray because I have a space for a battery tray and a second battery, well, third battery, under my hood. And so we're gonna put this there so that when I do get a second house battery, it will not be in the van. It will be outside the van. Uh-huh, uh-huh. This video is going to be boring for you to watch because you were here while it was filmed. So <laughs> <laughs> your hands. <laughs> so a special thanks to Mr. R for all his help with removing those components. Um, you will see a video coming up there's one more thing that we ended up finding that I don't show you in this video that I have already put into use in the van that video. just know that videos for those things that I got at the um, pick and pull are coming I appreciate you watching another video from start to finish without skipping and with watching as many ads as possible Mwah! but you've got a few seconds left don't forget to like subscribe share and comment check out the playlist of the journey from day one and a big thank you to my channel partners for making this video possible